We are living in the last days. The people have not received great victory in their life because they hold on to hate. They hold on to bitterness, unforgiveness. They are carnal-minded people in this world that are going to burn forever in a lake of fire. It's because they forsook in the law of God. They followed after their carnal fleshly desire. Whatever the desires the flesh will profit you a lake of fire. You must be led of the Spirit to profit heaven. Those who are born again and filled with the Holy Spirit of God are then the sons of God. But those who are not of God will go to a place of torment and a lake of fire. People live as if there was no God. And there's no fear of God in this generation. No, not no fear. God spared eight in the days of Noah. And it says there be few that find. I know I want to be in that eight when God comes back. Well, I don't care if it costs me my life. They can behead me. They can persecute me. They could throw stones at me like they did Stephen, the man full of the Holy Ghost. They could kill this body, but be careful for who could destroy the body and soul in hell, but fear the one who could cast it in there. Fear the Lord. I know. Now, why that says the only few will be there. Not even the most righteous will make it in there because of the most righteous is vanity. Because we're, our righteousness is filthy rags. We cannot compare to the Lord's righteousness. You cannot buy your way into heaven. You can't give enough money to give your way into heaven. It's not something to be bought. But it's something you have to lose in your life over. You have to give up every sin. You can't lie. Cheat, still. You got to be patient, humble, kind, long suffering, patient. The fruit of the Spirit. God's coming for a harvest. This world is flowing full of wicked people, and wickedness is rapidly. It's a horrible time. You can't even walk out of your homes anymore without seeing the wickedness before your eyes. The filthy, nasty language. The people half naked showing their body parts. The perversion and the filthiness is overtaking America and all nations of the world. Oh, help me, Lord. Help us, God. I want to be in that ark. The one, eight people were spared. God said it'd be like the days of Noah. People, wake up. You have no time. Oh, Lord, this world is blind 
blinded, but not really blinded. They see with their eyes, and they hear with their ears, but they do not do my works, the Lord says. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. You shall not lie. If you lie, people, you don't love the Lord. The Lord himself said, if you love me, keep my commandments. You shall not covet. You should not look at your neighbor's wife and wonder after her and your own lust. People, you should not covet. Someone else's goods that don't, don't belong to you. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Oh, help us, Lord. You shouldn't be a false witness. If you love me, you'll keep my commandments. That's what the Lord said. Every time you tell a lie, you know what? You don't love the Lord. People, if you will, in this day and age, use the word I love you like the word thank you. It means nothing to them. It's no value. The, the word I love you has no value. <clears throat> it's like the word thank you, the word I love you. Because people lie every day and they covet and uh, they're breaking God's commandments. If you love me, you'll keep my commandments. How can you tell another person, I, lo I love you, when you don't love God? Because you don't love God, he says, if you break my commandments. And if you don't love God, that means you have the love of this world in you. Then that means if you tell them I love you, it's for you to get or gain something, if you will, through your wicked hearts and desires, all you people. Love should not be used out of context. But people are using it as if it's the word thank you or uh, uh, in a plus way, if you will. But they really don't know what love is. Until you fall in love with the Lord and obey His commandments, you do not know love. Lord, help us. God, I wish he would split the skies today and blow his trumpet and take me out of this wicked world. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. I'm set apart for God. I'm not of this world because I don't live like this world lives. I know my home is temporary in this world. But if you lie, steal, cheat, do fire false witness, covet, commit adultery, do not love thy Lord God with all thy heart and soul and mind. It's a commandment. If you don't do these things, the Lord says, you do not love me. Oh, help us, Lord. How can a person tell someone they love you when they don't love the Lord and they love the world? Lord, people, open your eyes and hear Open your ears and hear what I'm saying to you this morning. Love the Lord. Hate the world. There be few that find it. Oh, the road is narrow. 
if you enter into the kingdom. Lord, I hate this world. I'd work in our spirit and our mind, Lord. If you want to be the, one of the few that find that way to the Lord, hate the world, and start loving the Lord and being obedient to His commandments. Don't tell me you love me when you're not even in love with the Lord and you're breaking His commandments. Because you're in the world. You don't know what true love is. Until you fall in love with Jesus. Then you'll learn what unconditional love is. Help us, Lord. Humble, humble me, Lord. Lord Jesus, spare my soul. Like they did Stephen, they can do me, God. I will be persecuted to the end, God. I'll run that race. Help us, Lord. Oh, hallelujah.